Howdy cowdies, weekly walkabout time on the collect. Uh, hope you're going good. We've been busy. Almost forgot our name then. <laughs> Jewelry cabinets full of cash again. Some more nice Commonwealth of Australia banknotes. And that's just a set of the old Australian paper banknotes. They're just in really good condition. I think you got a five pound note there with some old coins as well, pre decimal currency. Um, lovely little hand painted miniature brooch. It's hard to see there. There's a better image of it online. We've got more Hillsville, I think it is, Racing Club. I think that's Metropolitan Area Training Badge. Um, Inter Dominion. It's a lovely Jorgen Jensen 1970s pewter pendant. It's really nice. We've got some more Coles Melbourne Olympic cards. And that thing, bird cage. But the top lifts off. I think I could probably fit a couple of people in there. <laughs> this is really cool. Nice or night big on on night big thing on a nice big stand. It's in great nick. Nice little coffee table with the drawers that come through each side. A couple of cool retro light shades. Some cool retro sort of ice buckets and picnic sets. Nice big sort of vintage style teak trunk. Mirror's pretty amazing. Absolute ripper of a bit. What else have we got? Another nice little hand decorated Eastern box. Nice little carved Indian figure. We've got some cool soft drink bottles. Franklin soft drinks in the old cones crate. Australasian posts. This is a great bit. The Collingwood Blazer. Floriat Pika by the Magpie Flourish. Pretty old, made by Solway, the big man store. There you go. It'd be nice if it sort of said D, D Cloak or something like that on one of the labels inside. He's just a ripper. It looks to be like a sort of medium or larger size. I'd be thinking 1950s, 60s. Pretty cool Jenny Key cardigan. There's another woolen cardigan. Groups of ladies, 80s clothing. Some pretty cool men's flared strides. They're rippers. Real sort of 1960s, give or take. Some cool sort of work jackets, army sort of warehouse sort of jacket or something. Um, blokey gear, more ladies' clothing, heaps of soft drink bottles, nice big group. Great little Chrysler stereo, nice collection of Cotty's bottles, cordial and sparkling drinks. Ephemera, rocks. Um, linen and lace records, sewing machine, kids toys and some footy records, heaps of Lego, Wonder Woman alarm clock, Batman alarm clock and you've got good old Darth Vader as well. Got heaps of Lego in that box. More Australasian posts, cool little lot. Footies, old video speedo, signed Ron Barassi photograph in his cool old North Melbourne jacket. And this is a nice old RAAF identification chart, I think, of a Japanese Topsy bomber. Um, Victorian China and other stuff. Disney gear, including a cool little Mickey Mouse bin. Some nice old comics, comic strip papers and books, ginger megs and other stuff in amongst. The white sewing machine. It's just a really nice thing. It's in great original condition. Um, we've got a set of Elvis cards, costume jewellery. These are all cool old advertising swap cards. Onka Paringa, Warrnambool rugs, Prestige, Kaiser, Australian motor racing cards, Hawthorne steamroller cards, a big foot. Pretty cool. Good pedestal. Just a cool thing. Nice big sort of TV stand entertainment unit. Another bird cage. Another bird cage. How's that for a mirror? He's a monster. Cool big thing. Really nice old pair of doors. Need a bit of a tidy up, but they're just cool. Nice little plant stand. Some oriental watercolours. We've got the Arunta canoe. Or kayak. Or whatever you want it to be. Got little compartments up the front. Pretty cool. Up the back as well. Needs a little bit of work, but he's a ripper of a thing. It's in good original condition. And this is pretty cool. The Vic Railway stretcher frame. There's no canvas sling in the middle. It's got the label on it there. It's just a cool thing. Ephemera and papers. Nice Art Deco light fitting. 
Got some sort of ladies' accessories and crafty gear, crystal and stuff, some cool old stools. And it looks like a little baby's cot or something like that, but I reckon you could repurpose that for something else. Some radios. Walking Dead action figures all mint in their boxes. Nice collection of various magazines. Some great Daybill posters. The Naked Gun. Goofy. Three Days of the Condor. Old Redford. Uh, uh. Uh, Pretty China. Some crowd. Clarice Cliff and Spode and Wedgwood and stuff. Boxes and tins. More pretty china. Little mixed group lot with a nice cocktail shaker. Um, this is a great group of all the Coca-Cola gear. You got crates, you got cans, you got bottles. They're all sort of special edition cans, basketball dudes or something like that on them. There you go. Got a hole in the bottom, unopened. That one's unopened. Can't see where the hole is. That might be a rare unopened Coke can, but I don't think so. Some article in some paper the other day saying that unopened Coke cans are worth $250,000. I don't know about that. All I know is that that's another bloody big mirror. And there's a pretty cool big bar. Reckon it's made out of an old, an old door with this handle down the bottom here. I reckon it's a door being put on its side and then they've built around it. Noblet, six-piece, 70s dining suite, just in mint condition. Uh, what else have we got? Oz pottery, New Zealand canisters, some cool old lamps, ephemera stationery, records, irons, Australasian posts, some more S2 gill engravings, signed Hugh Sawry print, some sort of R-rated adults only, movie posters, yellow Emmanuel, Lady Chatterley's lover, Magdalena, Good old Sabrina. Score. And these are just a cool group. Mrs. Brown, you've got a lovely daughter. The Plainsman. The Reluctant Maiden. Some great graphics and stuff on some of these. Airline travel bags. Advertising swap cards. TAA. Shipping lines. Skylark. Cream powder. Robinson's barley and groats. Cool old dolls. Elvis records. Tins and things, bush radio, bar items, nice lot of retro and sort of other Bakelite and plastics, great collection of horror comics, set of Empire Strikes Back cards, set of Dukes of Hazard cards, Off-Road Champ, Mint in its box, cool lot of sort of death metal CDs, Soulfly, Machine Head, Disturbed, good lot of vinyl stones in the front. Some other good stuff, Aretha Franklin, Ray Charles. Um, nice little collection of cigarette boxes, tins and the Craven A lighter. Gals and Gags, it's January through to December 1960. And these are January through to December 1961, so it's like the whole year set. Um, part set of nude playing cards, this is fantastic. The box, battery operated kids, hit toy, heavy machine gun. Some cool art posters rolled up. Big pair of sort of mirrored obelisks. Little group with the cabinet, the dolls and the Disney thimbles. More movie posters. Radios. Nice little collection of wooden boxes. Um, EPT service. You've got the nice big cutlery set and the big brass coffee pot. Uh, some nice sconces. Three nice Diana lamp sort of base columns, including the layback version. Crystal and glass, resin figures, nice collection of EP, little pair of cabinet plates, really like this little group of torches. This one here has been made out of an old Malvern Star bike pump. I reckon that's just damn cool. Um, all railway ephemera, stickers, booklets and stuff. That's nice, a lot of ladies' bags and purses, motoring gear, royalty, singles, bit of Max Q, Sinead O'Connor. Good lot of sort of heavy metal, Rob Zombie, Metallica, Slipknot, Pearl Jam, um, modern comics, other sort of hard rock except Black Sabbath, Scorpions. <laughs> Fantastic track. If you haven't heard that track, go on YouTube. It's Scatterbrains the band. Don't call me dudes the track. What else have we got? Eastern Silver. 
Pantera CDs. Bit of dime bag Daryl never hurt anybody. This is rare. Good bit. The ABBA Australian Pressing Dancing Queen album, but there's something unusual about it, and it's the Bs are both going the correct way. So this was released, I think, in Australia for a brief period of time or something like that, and then they put the first B around the wrong way, which is the way it should be. B. Good things. Akadaka CDs. Barry Humphrey stuff. Nice big collection of various stickers and decals. There's some cool ones. Save trees, buy antiques. <laughs> and then to the end, Cam, we've got heaps more sort of cool pin-up girl stuff. Gals and Gags, I think, from 1957, the full year. That's a full year set from 1956. And these are just uh, the actual centerfold pin-ups out of old man magazines. Um, old ledgers from an old chemist or something like that in out in the country, Ballarat, Bendigo somewhere. I've just forgotten off the top of my head. But it's pretty interesting. Um, Art Deco swap cards, nice collection of old tins. Uh, Pin-up girl swap cards. Uh, more advertising. These are all cigarettes and alcohol, all featuring sort of glamorous ladies and a Pegasus. But they're just cool. Player cigarettes, pen fold, she's sculling it. He's great as well, a fishing polar bear. I don't think we have his fish, but the rest of him's there. Love little, I think, Copeland, Imari coloured cups and saucers with a couple of bits of crystal. Nice little collection of old frames and ephemera and tins. Um, these are nice. I like these. Sort of sugar canister there and the nice little spice jars or tins. you got Star Wars. I think it's Wedge and Biggs. There you go. Pretty cool. The 12-inch action figures in their box. Uh, and cabinet. We've got more nice stuff. Big Royal Worcester. I think 1950s dinner set. Got some more fantastic pin-up girl swap cards, but these are all with various um, businesses on them. Hubbard Kettles. Just cool things. Greenless Construction Co. Um, Batman cards. It looks to be the set. Got more pin-up girls. And these are a set of pin-up girl playing cards. I just can't remember the artist, but it is in the catalogue. Um, we've got a nice little watercolour and gouache after Cecil Alden. A couple of ripping Cerebrus salt tins, both in great condition with the different fronts on them. More Batman cards, and these are pretty cool. They've got the sets of the Catwoman, Joker, Riddler, Robin, Batman, Penguin. Good things. Uh, mailing wham, Victorian hand-painted Royal Worcester tea set for 12. Bellini. Uh, I think it is Italian ashtray, great colours, Ted Seacombe crystalline, Greg Daly, really nice as well. Early Mandrake, the magician, comic number 11. Lovely big lump of remude with the gum nuts and the gum leaves on the front. There is a crack on the base, but you can see here that the glaze actually goes into the crack, so it's more of a factory floor. It's just a lovely bit. It's got the nice little pink underneath blue interior the ellis finka schminka and the nice bit of etling we think it is but there is a bit of damage around the rim somewhere here here it is there's a chip out of it but i reckon that could be ground back down or something just a lovely bit of the french opalescent glass and that'll do hopefully you saw something you liked be good see you tomorrow night